Hi, this video is going to be about quantitative genetics and today I'm going to present very basic problem and uh, I hope that most of you would be able to solve this problem and for those of you who don't know how to solve such problems I will show you solution so uh, later you can apply it to uh, more complex problems and you would know how to solve those problems. So here is a problem a plant with genotype of uh, homozygous recessive for both alleles A and B and height of 40 cm is crossed with a plant with a genotype of homozygous dominance uh, for both alleles and height of 60 cm. If each dominant allele contributes to height additively, what is the expected height of the F1 progeny? So let me, uh, for the beginning, write down both genotypes of uh, two parents. So the uh, genotype of the first parent would be small a, small a, and small b, small b, and this is going to be parent 1, that we have to cross with uh, another parent that whose genotype would be capital A, capital A, and capital B, capital B. So this is going to be parent 2. And we know that um, parent 1 uh, height is 40 centimeters and parent 2 height is 60 centimeters. And of course, they would produce in F1 generation progeny that going to be uh, heterozygous for both alleles. So going to be genotype capital A small a and capital B small b. And as you see, uh, parent 1 can only donate small allele A here, and parent 2 can only donate uh, capital allele A. So, uh, genotype for this uh, locus would be capital A small a, and the same for the second uh, gene that is represented by two alleles. In parent 1 it's only small b small b so it can uh, donate to the progeny only one of them so this uh, explains why we have a small b here and parent 2 only can uh, donate uh, capital B allele so this explains why all the F1 generation going to be heterozygous for both alleles and now it's very easy to calculate how much each allele, whether it is dominant or recessive, add uh, to the trait. So here, for example, uh, parent 1 has uh, 4 alleles and height is 40 cm. So we can say that each allele would add 10 cm. We have just to divide 40 cm by 4 alleles and we are going to get 10 centimeters per one recessive allele. So this is going to be uh, 10 centimeters for one allele, 10 centimeters here, here and here. So altogether this is going to be 40 centimeters. And here for the parent 2 we have to divide uh, 60 centimeters by four alleles and we are going to get 15. So each dominant allele would add 15 centimeters for the trait. So uh, altogether four dominant alleles would produce plant uh, with height of 60 centimeters. So here for the F1 generation it's easy to calculate now. So capital A would uh, give 50 centimeters, small a would give 10 centimeters, capital B would give 15 centimeters and small b would give 10 centimeters. And as you see, if we add all these numbers, we are going to get uh, 50 centimeters. So we have parent one that is uh, 40 centimeters, parent two that is 60 centimeters, and all F1 generation going to be intermediate height of 50 centimeters. And this of course very simple example but the same rules applies to the 
uh, more complex problems. So I hope this example would be helpful for you. And thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.